Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how anyone can easily create and publish an eye-catching website using Canva. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button, the notifications bell, and if you would like to support the channel, feel free to hit the super thanks button as well. Everyone knows that Canva is one of the best sites that you can use to create custom designs, content for your social media pages, animated videos, and tons more. But many people don't realize that you can actually create a fully functioning website with clickable links and a responsive design. With Canva, you don't have to be a web designer or a coder to build a professional website. They provide you with hundreds of pre-made website templates that you can customize in order to create your website. You can design your site with the easy to use Canva design editor and publish your website to a free domain. If you like, you could also purchase a custom domain to use for your website or use an existing one that you already own. With a responsive design, your site will automatically resize depending on the device that your visitors are using. Whether it's a laptop, a smartphone, or a tablet, your website elements will resize accordingly. And with clickable links, you can add links to direct your site visitors to your online store, individual products you're promoting, other brand pages you may have, or anything else you wanna point your visitors to. Building a professional website with Canva is super simple and anyone can create one in a matter of minutes. And of course, everyone needs a website, so let's go through the process to create one with Canva. From the Canva homepage, let's go up to the search bar here and type in website. From the results, you should see a tab that says website with this square icon here. Go ahead and click that now. This should take you to the website templates page where you can view hundreds of different templates that you can use to create your website. Currently, Canva has over 500 templates and more templates are constantly being added to the site. If you look on the left hand side of the page, you'll see a menu where you can sort the templates based on various filters. Using the filters, you can sort the templates by style, theme, or even by color. With so many templates available on Canva, this is a great way to find what you're looking for. So let's check out these Canva website templates and see what they have available. As you can see, they have tons of different styles and options that you can select from. Each template is fully customizable and can be edited to create your custom website. They have some free templates available, but if you want to access all the website templates, you'll need to sign up for Canva Pro. You can try Canva Pro for free by clicking the link in the video description or going to jasongandy.org and clicking the Unlock Canva Pro button. So let's see if we can find a template to use to create my example website. I think this one here looks pretty cool. And if you hover your mouse over any of the images, you'll see all the pages that are available in that particular template. So as an example, let's select this template here and open it up in the Canva editor. Here's where you can customize your template, add other elements, and create your website any way that you like. Most templates have several pre-made web pages that you can easily edit and replace with your content. So for my example site, I think I'll create a new website for my Quantum Designs brand. First, let's rename my project because it's actually going to be the default name for my website. To do this, simply go up to the blue bar at the top, click the text, and type in whatever you want to call your site. Now that that's taken care of, let's create my home page. If you decided that you don't like the template that you selected, you could use the templates tab here to browse all the templates on Canva. Sometimes you might have to try out a few different ones before you find the perfect template. But I'm going to stick with this template, so let's change the background. To find a cool background to use for my home page, let's go over to the elements tab. Here's where you can search the Canva library for tons of cool images, photos, graphics, videos, and tons of other cool elements. Since I'm making a website for my Quantum Designs brand, I'm going to type in t-shirts and see what comes up. Whatever you're searching for, Canva provides you with tons of cool images and elements that you can use for your project. But since I'm looking for a background image, let's click on the Photos tab. Here's where I can browse the Canva library for all the different photos that are related to the keyword t-shirts. No matter what you type in, they'll likely have hundreds of results that you can browse through. They have a lot of free images you can access, but to unlock all the images in the library, you'll need a Canva Pro account. So as an example, let's see how this image here will look for my background. Simply select the image you want to use, drag it over to your background, and voila, your new image should be added to your template. So now let's update my template text. 
To update your text, simply select it and type in whatever you want it to say. To change your text size, color, or the font, you can use the toolbar up top here. So my homepage now reads Quantum Designs, your source for top quality products, and has a Shop Now button. For my button box, I think I'm going to edit the color a bit, so let's select it, then go up to the top toolbar and click the Color tab here. I can now change my button to whatever color I wish, but I think I'm just going to make it a bit more red. There we go. So I've updated my text and my button, but I think I want to use my logo instead. To add my logo, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and go over to the Uploads tab. Here's where you can view all the media that you've uploaded to Canva and where to upload new media as well. And if you wanted to add a personal touch to your website, you could also record yourself. So let's click the blue upload button up top here and find my Quantum Designs logo. Once you open up a new image, it should automatically start uploading to Canva. Once it finishes uploading, you can simply click it and add it to your template. The image can then be rearranged and resized as needed. Since I'm going to be using my logo, let's go ahead and delete the Quantum Designs text here. I can now move my logo to the correct location and make it a bit bigger. Now this template is starting to look like a good website for my brand. Also, my subheading here is a bit hard to read, so let's make it bold and change the font. I think that looks much better, but I also think it's the background that's making my text hard to read, so let's change that as well. When designing websites, or anything else for that matter, you'll likely make a lot of changes until you get everything exactly right. So here's a simple homepage for my website. I think this looks pretty good, but I think we can make it a bit better. So let's rearrange the elements on my template here a bit and make some room in the center so I can add a video. Videos are a great way to grab website visitors' attention and to let them know about your brand and the products and services that you offer. So to add a video to my homepage, let's go back to the Uploads tab. I can then click the blue Upload button and find the video that I want to add to my website. Just like before, it should automatically start uploading to Canva. Once it's finished, you can click it to add it to your template or simply drag it over. You can then resize and rearrange your video as needed. You may have to adjust some of your other elements as well to get everything exactly right. There we go. To make my video stand out a bit more, I think I'll add a border. To do this, let's look at the menu on the left and go to the Elements tab. This time, I'm going to find the section that says Lines and Shapes and click on See All. And as you would expect, this will pull up a page displaying tons of different lines and shapes. For my video background, I just need the square here. So let's resize it to the same shape as my video, but make it a bit bigger so it'll make a good border. There we go. To move it behind my video, let's select it, go up to the Position tab up top, then click on Backwards. And now my video has a nice border. I think that looks much better. Once you finish designing your homepage, go ahead and move on to the other pages of your template and design those as well. You should edit each individual template as a separate page for your website. We already have the homepage, but you can build other pages as well such as an about page, a portfolio to display your products, a contacts page, a facts page, or any other page you wish to add to your site. Edit each page the same way that we did with the home page by editing your text, adding new graphics or other elements, uploading your own images, and by changing the colors and fonts to match your brand. For the last page of my site, I want to add a shop now button. So let's go back to the first page, copy my button, then scroll back down and paste it into my visit our shop page. Now let's move some things around a bit and make my button a bit bigger. And it wouldn't be a button if you couldn't actually click it. So let's go to my online shop and copy my shop URL to add to my button. Once you've copied the link that you want to add to your website button, simply select your button text, right click the text, and then click the link tab. This will open up a new box where you can paste in the URL you want to use for your button. There we go. Now once we publish the website, when customers click the button, they'll be taken directly to my online shop. I also have a Shop Now button on my homepage up top here, so let's add the link there as well. Another way to add the link to your button is to select the button text, then look at the menu up top and click the three dots here. You can then click the link icon here and paste in the URL for your button. There we go. Now my homepage has a good call to action. 
So now let's take a look at my website template and make sure I have everything I need before publishing. I have my home page with my intro video and my call to action, an about page explaining a little bit about my brand, a products page showing what my online store offers, and a page to send my visitors to my online shop. Feel free to add other elements or other pages to your website if you like, but for my website, I think I'm just going to go with this. The websites that are created on Canva are responsive, so they should automatically resize depending on the device that the visitor is using. So before publishing, let's click the preview button up top here and see how it looks on various devices. As you can see, once my homepage opens, my video should start playing and be the first thing that my visitors see. I'm just using an example video, but feel free to add a promo video or a video explaining what your website is about. We have my welcome page, my products page, and my view our shop page. And if we click my shop now button, we should be taken directly to my online shop. Not bad. This is a great way to send customers to your products. So now let's use the icons up top here to check out each device and make sure our website elements are arranged correctly. Some elements may not resize exactly right sometimes, so you might have to update them in the Canva editor. But for my website, I think everything looks pretty good, so let's click on close at the top right. So now that I've reviewed my template on all the different devices, let's look up at the top right and click on publish to website. This should open up a new menu where you can select all of your website publish settings. At the top, you can see a preview of your website on various devices, and underneath, you should see a checkbox that allows your website to resize on smaller devices. In order to have a responsive website, make sure you have this selected. Next, you can select the type of domain you want to publish your website to. You have the option to publish your website for free using a Canva domain. You can purchase a new domain through Canva, or you can use an existing domain that you already own. For my example site, I'm going to publish for free using the Canva domain. So let's make sure we got that selected, then click on continue. This should take you to the menu where you can select a subdomain for your site. This will be the first part of your URL that defines your site. For my subdomain, I'm simply going to use my brand name, Quantum Designs. So to get to my new website, my URL is going to be quantumdesigns.my.canva.site. Once you select a subdomain, go ahead and click on continue. Here's where you can review your final site settings before publishing. At the top, you can view the site URL that you just created, and under that, you can see the browser tab preview. By default, this is going to display whatever you named your Canva project. If you want to edit your site name, simply click the edit icon and change the browser tab preview to whatever you like. Next, you can add a short website description. This should be a short description under 160 characters describing your website, brand, or your products. Down at the bottom, you also have your permissions options. Here's where you can select to add password protection to your site or to hide your website from search engines. These can be useful in certain situations, but for an e-commerce site, I recommend not selecting them. But since I'm creating an example site, I'm going to hide mine from the search engines. Once you've selected all your settings, go ahead and click on Publish. Canva will then create your website and publish it live to the URL that you selected. Once your website is live, you'll be able to copy the URL and use it in social media posts, email campaigns, or anywhere else you want to promote your website. So now let's click the Visit Website button and see how my new website looks. And voila! Here's my new professional website that I just created and published for free with Canva. Using Canva to create a website for your brand is one of the easiest ways to create an online site. Once you create a website, you can easily edit your site by going back into the Canva editor and making any changes that are needed. And with clickable links, you can send your site visitors to your online shop, your products, your brand pages, or anywhere else you want to send them to. So that's a quick overview of how to design and publish websites on Canva. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and if you're really cool, feel free to hit the super thanks button as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.